Hello, I'm Richard Goms. I'm here in Salt Lake City, Utah. We're talking about hard drive basics. I'm going to show you how to install a second hard drive. First of all, we have taken this case out of the computer already, and this is the first hard drive. And the first hard drive usually fits on in the top slot. There's a slot that you can put that in. And once you have it seated, you can put some screws in and, and screw it down in. Um, and then you can hook your cables up. This is your data cable here, and it hooks right into the back. And then this is your power cable, and it hooks on, onto the back also on the side here. The uh, top drive goes into the top slot here, slides in until it's seated, and then there are screws that screw it in. And uh, then you, you can connect the connector. Uh, this is the data connector. You can connect that and the power connector that you can connect back here. Now also you'll see that there is a jumper um, connector here. This little box here is used to control the master-slave relationship between if you have more than one drive. So what you have to do is you have to move this jumper to um, follow the instructions that come with the drive to set it as the master if you have more than one. And then the second drive, which would go in just below this, you would move it to the slave position. Now, since we only have one drive, we're going to take it out and put it in the second slot. So you have one drive in the top slot, and then you have one drive in the second slot. And then you push it in until it's seated, and the holes line up so that you can put the screws in. Then this connector, the top connector, goes into the top one, and the second connector goes into the bottom one. And the same with the power cord. The power connects into the top connector, and the second, the second one connects into the bottom connector, just like that. Then once the connections are made, you have to put the box back in. Now, some computers don't have these little boxes. They just have slots to put the drives in, and in which case you would just try to move these other wires out of the way, put the drives in, and then put in the screws and connect up the connectors. In this case, we have to line this box up so it'll swivel and lock into place.